In this example, we want to use calculus to find the area of the triangle with the given vertices. Okay. So we're given the vertices of the origin, which is at 0, 0, 2, 8, and 5, 3. Okay. All right. So in order to do this, uh, we need to uh, first find the equations of each of these corresponding lines. Okay, so in other words, we need to find the equation between the origin and 2, 8, and the equation between 2, 8 and 5, 3, and the equation between the origin and 5, 3. Okay, so that means we need to find the slope for each of these sides. Okay, all right, so I'm going to call this, okay, so I'm going to call this side 1, I'm going to call this side 2, and this is going to be called side 3. Okay. All right. Okay, so first we're going to, we need to find the slope for side 1. Okay, so since going through the origin in 2, 8, okay, that means our slope uh, for that line is going to be 8 over 2, which is going to be 4. Okay. Okay, so then for our equation, okay, so for our equation, that's going to be, okay, we have y, it's going to be y equals to 4x. Since it's going through the or right, since it's going through the origin, that means it has the y-intercept of zero. So we're just left with y equals four x. Okay, so this side. Okay, so for this side we have y equals to four x. Okay, so next one we need to find the slope for side two. Okay, so we have the slope. It's going to be the difference of y divided by the difference of x. So we have for the for the line going through 2, 8, and 5, 3. So we're going to have 3 minus 8 divided by 5 minus 2. So that's going to give us negative 5 thirds. Okay. So using the point slope form. Okay, we're going to have, okay, we can find the equation on line. So I'm going to go ahead and use the point 5, 3. Okay. okay, so I'll use 5, 3. So we have y minus 3 equal to negative 5 thirds times x minus 5. Okay. All right, so we're going to get y equals to negative 5 thirds x plus 25 thirds plus 3. Okay. All right, so then, okay, we have, so we're going to get y equals to negative 5 thirds x plus 34 thirds. Okay. Okay, so that's the equation for this side. Okay, so next one.
Okay, let's do that here. Okay, so I'm going to find the slope. Okay, for side three. Okay, so that side is going through the origin and five three, so the slope is simply going to be three fifths. Okay, so that would mean that for our equation we have three fifths times x since it's going through the origin. Okay, so okay, so we have this side now. So y equals two. 3 fifths x. Okay, so we have all the all the sides now. So to do this, okay, we're going to need to split this into two regions. Okay, because we're going to use the vertical represented piece, the vertical approach. Okay. All right, so we have a we have a region here and we have a region here. So the first integral, okay? Um, so for the, for the first area, the integral is going to go from 0 to 2, and the second region is going to go from 2 to 5. Okay. Okay, so this point is at 2 here. Okay, so first, okay, find, okay, so, okay, we need to find the area for the first region, okay. Okay, so we take the integral of the top part of the function minus the bottom part. So the, bo the top part is 4x, the bottom part is 3 fifths x. Okay, so that's going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of 4x minus 3 fifths x. Okay, so that's going to that's going to give us seventeen fifths x. Okay, and then taking the integral of this, we have seventeen fifths x squared over ten. Okay. Evaluate from zero to two. Okay, so we have 17 times 2 squared, which is 4, all divided by 10. Okay, so this is going to give us 34 fifths. Okay, so that's the area of the first region. Now we need to find the area of the second region. Okay, so that's going to be the integral from 2 to 5, okay. Okay, and again we have the top minus bottom, so we're going to have minus 5 thirds x plus 34 thirds minus the bottom part. Okay. Okay, so that's the top part, okay, and then minus the bottom part. Okay, so let's simplify this. So we have the integral from 2 to 5. Okay, this is going to simplify, give us uh, minus 34 over 15. x 
plus 34 thirds. Okay, so taking the integral of this, okay, we're going to get, so we have minus 34 fifteenths x, so just using the power rule, so we're going to get minus 34 over uh, 15 times x squared over 2. Okay, so that's going to give us minus 17 over 15 x squared plus 34 over 3 so that's a constant so we're going to get x here okay and we evaluate this from 2 to 5. all right okay so um, from here we're going to get so we have minus 17 over 15 times 2 squared or actually sorry 5 so so it's going from 2 to 5 so this is be 5 squared plus 34 over 3 times 5. Okay, then we have minus, okay, so that's going to make that a positive, so positive 17 fifteenths of 2 squared minus 34 thirds times 2. Okay, so Taking this, okay, so combining this with what we got earlier, okay, uh, for the first region we had 34 over 5, okay. Okay, so we're going to add, okay, so we're going to add both side, uh, both regions now. So the total area Okay, so we have region 1 plus region 2. Okay, so region 1 okay, was up here, okay, 34 fifths. And then we're going to have region 2, which is, the, which is the value that you see above here. So that's going to be, uh, so we're going to get minus... 85 thirds plus 170 over 3 plus 68 over 15 okay minus 68 thirds okay so again this is Okay, this was coming from this part here. Was coming from here. Okay, that's region two. Okay, and this part right here was for region one. Okay. Okay. All right. So the total. Okay. So we can go ahead and simplify this. This is going to be one hundred two over fifteen minus 425 over 15 plus 850 over 15 plus 68 over 15 plus 340 over 15 okay uh, let's see so that last one should be should be minus there Okay, so we get, okay, adding all this up, we get two, uh, let's see, 255 over 15. Oops, that's over 15. And that's going to give us a value of 17. Okay, so. So the total area is going to be 17 units squared. Okay. All right. So to do this, we have to find the equation 
for each for each of the line segments here okay and we do that by we have to find the slope of each of those and then we find the and then we find the area of the first region by taking the top function which is 4x minus 3 fifths x okay we take the integral of that from 0 to 2 and then find the and then finding the second region we take the integral of negative 5 thirds x plus 34 thirds minus 3 fifths x integrate that between 2 and 5 and then adding those together okay and this is what we end up getting okay so total area is 17 units squared